the Agate Bay YouTube channel. Um, today I'm talking about agates from China. Um, China has a long tradition uh, with agates because um, it has a big value in the jewelry industry they are making. The local, local government closed down the, uh, the mining area for the stones. In the beginning it was um, said that they want to reduce the, uh, the, the dust pollution which is caused by the process of mining um, but also to re-naturalize uh, the entire area because of the Olympic Winter Games which were held in that area but they have not opened up the mines again since the Olympic Winter Games are over now. I believe it's also part of uh, the, the politics to protect their own resources and um, yeah, not exploit their own country for, for agates so much anymore as they used to. I'm going to start off with a really classic example um, from the middle class mining area. So you will very typically find this kind of mustard yellow color in combination with a little bit of brown. Um, this is already on the brighter side of, of specimens, so a lot of the pieces will only be brown, but a lot of them have this combination of yellow and brown uh, all together in one specimen. You can also see this beautiful round shape of the nodule, which the Chinese agates are really famous for, and which is a really uh, dead away um, uh, indicator, dead giveaway indicator for, uh, for the agates from China to have this really smooth husk on the stones uh, from this mine. Um, also a beautiful flow channel and this currently I have on the website available for 155 uh, euros. Um, this is a specimen from the traditional mining area and here on the back side you can already tell the difference. Uh, the middle class mine they have uh, a really more rough looking backside which kind of reminds a little bit of a golf ball maybe with some of the dents uh, they have on the backside and the agates from the traditional mine where this one is from um, they have a much smoother husk um, because the host rock is also harder and the nodules will still pop out of the host rock pretty easily during the mining process. Um, these agates from the traditional mine from the Dishu Ya quarry uh, they are famous for having these blood red colors um, a lot of times with combination of amethyst or uh, plume structures. So this one has a little bit of plume structures but there's much better and stronger pieces. Um, so this is a good quality specimen um, but not at the very high end but still a very aesthetic piece uh, especially with the amethyst center in the stone. This one's available for 200 euros on my website. This is from the middle class mine area as well. This is rather on the unique side of specimens because of the great depth it has. A lot of the stones from the middle class mine are really opaque in colors and they don't have a lot of translucency in the bands, um, which is really strong in this piece. You can see the, the, the white band through the blue chalcedony uh, depending on which angle you turn the stone and it just gives this uh, really great depth uh, inside of the stone. Um, I think I have this one currently at a price of 300 euros available on my website. Uh, another really beautiful specimen, which I feel like uh, I might have undervalued a little bit, um, is this incredible uh, pink banded agate. It's just so perfect in symmetry, so fine in banding, and just a perfectly beautiful example from the middle class mine as well. Um, pink is a color you will find in some, some, some agates over there, but it is not very common. Um, there's a third mining region which is known and, and it's called the high class mine. Um, you can already see it in this specimen here. At the bottom of the stone it has uh, some of the host rock attached and that is really typical uh, for, the, for the stones from this location because the host rock is so hard that you will not easily get it away without breaking the agate itself. All of the mines in this area have already been closed down to mining for seven years. This is a really spectacular piece which I, I bought a long, long, long time ago. Um, it is, I'm saying, only a slice because, of course, a slice will affect the value, um, but this is a super high quality specimen of which I um, had the other half uh, printed in a German magazine when I was writing an article about Chinese agates, so this is kind of famous as well, but since it is only a slice, um, it's, at a va it's at a value of 350 euros, but also beautiful to see the chromatography in the center of the stone. The Chinese agate market really, um, really values the, the stones with an intense yellow color 
and red color in combination as well. So those are the most expensive agates in combination of yellow and red that you will find uh, on the Chinese agate market. While for example the uh, blue color, although it is a rare color to appear, um, is rather undervalued in these stones, at least on the local market. Um, so here this is a beautiful specimen from the high class mine as well. Um, you can see this beautiful, very bright yellow um, agate bands in the outside of the stone. Amethyst at this location is rather rare, so this is a more unique specimen as well. And also, only at the high class mine area from one specific quarry within that area is where you can find this, uh, this water level banding. And um, that is from the Luda 1 quarry, um, which is the further, furthest away also from the city. Um, but this is where the most expensive um, stones actually came from. This is at a price of 350 euros available on my website. The other half of this one's actually in the collection of Johann Sens. Just wanted to mention this. I, I traded it with him a couple of years ago. So this is color-wise, I would say, one of the most spectacular pieces from the middle class mine uh, that I got. It's this. It's got this extremely bright blue color. It's just so beautiful. It's really, really shining. Blue is a really rare color to get in these pieces. And this one's also really nice because it has this super fine flow channel going from the center uh, to, to the husk. So really exceptional quality specimen from the middle class mine area. This one's at a price of 420 euros available on the website. Another really nice specimen from the high class mine uh, I have it is this piece. Also just beautiful design, beautiful chromatography, also slight amethyst center and here you can see it again. A uh, typical giveaway from the high class mine is that it has uh, the host rock matrix attached to the nodule uh, still and this one's at a price of 450 euros on my website. Another remarkable quality agate I have from the high class mine um, is this beautiful piece, like I said, the most sought after colors on the Chinese agate market are the colors uh, with a bright, really bright, intense yellow uh, in combination with uh, this orangey red. And this one's got just such a striking contrast and saturation in this piece. Um, it's also from the high class mine. I have this one at 500 euros and now we are heading over to what, the most valuable piece of Chinese agates I have on my website currently. Um, it is at a price of 1200 euros for the pair and the reason why it is, you can see it here already, it's got this remarkable uh, growth of calcite crystals in this sparkling druzy center outlined by this perfectly bright shining yellow agate and um, just such a spectacular piece for, uh, for the growth of these calcite crystals which are really clear as well and it also got a nice clear a clear, clear sheet of I think maybe another formation of calcite or maybe barite inside this uh, center of the druzy as well but this is just so rare to get a perfectly grown calcite crystal like this in, in a druzy specimen. I hope you learned a little bit about the specifics uh, about the different mines in China, the colors, the structures um, and what really makes um, the recognition for the Chinese agates is definitely the round shape pretty much all of the nodules will have. I think there's not any other location worldwide where the agate nodules actually appear this perfectly, perfectly round like in the Chinese agates. So that definitely gives some of the aesthetics um, these pieces regularly have. So I hope you enjoy, enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something about Chinese agates and I also hope you'll be back for more videos to check out from my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!